What is going on guys? We are here for another episode of Stygian Snake Wood, the remake. Now, I want to let you guys know real quick before we get into the video or do anything. I got a message from the lead developer and I want to go ahead and let you guys know a few things because a few things are going to be changing while we go through this game now because we're learning more as we progress. The lead developer has said, and I quote, thanks for playing and thank you for pointing out the, <laughs> the, the ledge, the ledge bug, which, hey, since we already got the items over there, we are good. Uh, your excitement towards the game really brought me joy. Just let me point out a few things. So the first thing that she, which I want to make sure I specify she, they, them, so we'll make sure I get that out of the way. The speed up button, speed up button is Q. We have speed up button. And I was just a dumbo, dumb, dumbo, dumb, dumbo. But the speed up button is Q. So we can actually speed it up five times and make it go faster, which is awesome because I've been spoiled with that for a very, very long time. The disease typing, she went ahead and told me on here, but I also found some of the documents when I downloaded the game and I started reading a few things that the disease typing or renamed to plague is weak to poison, bug, and psychic, the types of the starter. So it's not just weak to everything. It's just weak to the uh, poison, bug, and psychic being the, the starter types to make it a little easier as you progress through the game. And the Wurmple line, as we found out, is German names and they evolve based on night and day, which I do like that. It makes it a little bit easier instead of being completely random, which I do like. I do like that a lot. The heart that we found underground, the, the still beating heart, boom, 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 heals a percentage of the Pokemon's HP every couple steps. So, which isn't too terribly bad. It's something to help instead of something to rely on. The experience, okay. Now, I, I want I want to specify this. I want to specify this if you guys are playing along, if you're playing this game as well. The experience to me is a little weird. I understand where they were going with it. I do. I do understand where they're going with it. But the fact that I can't grind to gain levels or because the whole point of Pokemon is to grind a little bit so you can progress and go through and stuff like that. But at the same time, the way the experience is set up you, you want to fight trainers to progress. You want to fight trainers to actually gain levels. You want to fight, you know, that, that's Pokemon. You want to fight trainers to get to gym leaders to progress through the game. I just don't like how I can't face wild Pokemon to progress. They said that personally, I don't recommend a Nuzlocke. This game is kind of very unfriendly towards it. And it's difficult already. Did specify that the next battle is definitely a bit overtuned. And may get nerfed soon. I went ahead and got the very next patch that was made. I think it's like 5.3 or something like that. I could be wrong. 0.53 something. I have seen a few things already as I was trying to grind and as I was trying to do things that this game is absolutely astronomically difficult. <laughs> there. We'll go through it. And I'll show you exactly why in just a minute. So for the future of this let's play, which is no, I I'm going to try to make it a Nuzlocke the best of my ability with not losing Pokemon. And if I lose Pokemon, you know, trade them out and stuff like that. But I caught almost every single Pokemon on every single route. So we can play this like an actual demo because that is essentially what this game is. It is not fully complete yet. I was a little bit of a, of the game when i decided to actually do this for the channel but i want to go ahead and let you guys know that ahead of time i know that this was a little bit of a long spiel but i wanted to explain some stuff so i might put a timestamp when things actually you know start going for the game and everything like that but i wanted to let you guys know that ahead of time with that being said i have gotten everybody up to level 11 the absolute max level that I could possibly get them to in the area we are currently at. In the area that we are currently at. And as you can see, the team is a little bit changed. We have Wall Punch! Our Kala... 
Kalabapus. And then we also have Puppet, our Shuppet, which is going to come in handy for some of the future battles because I do know if this is anything like Snakewood, we are going to be going up against something called a Face Leech, and that could cause us some problems later down the road. But like I said, I also caught the other encounters that were around here. We got Jack, our Zigzagoon. We have Shadow or Poochiana, which we may need later. We have Whoops, a Whoopa. We have Acorn or Dot. We still have our Devil Egg. We still have Frank. And we got a Shiny. I was just moseying around doing my grinding and stuff. We got a Shiny Shroomish. So technically, with all rules of a Nuzlocke, this is perfectly legal. This is perfectly legal because it is a shiny claws, and I am gladly going to take this because it was a Breloom that destroyed our one of our mons the last time we played the original Snakewood, and now we have one of our own to deal some damage. We also got Sparky or Pichu, which I do not like, but I wanted to get because it's an electric type, and then we also have Peter, our Spinarak, who has Intimidate. So some of these are actually going to come in handy later down the road. But we have speed up. We have speed up. We have levitating legless corpse here. The pain, young one. Your body looks in better shape than this decrepit one. I shall possess you instead. But the only way to get grinding done, to get to a certain level so we can progress and not have so many issues, was to actually battle this. Levitating legless corpse multiple times and then dying to the last Pokemon to progress through. But we are here. We're good to go. We're going to go ahead and do exactly what we need to do because since poison is super effective to all of these plague Pokemon, we should be able to take care of 90% of all of these Pokemon. Now, Hound Sour has a uh, fire spin. And if I'm not mistaken, the last time that I was actually going against these things also had Thunder Fang. Yes, you heard that right. Had Thunder Fang. And I get it. It's an egg move, so I'm cool with it. But it's a little strong for early game. Just, just a little. Just a little strong for early game. Okay, so now we have Dirt. Is it Dirt Crow? Yes, it is still Dirt Crow, the shiny Dirt Crow. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that we can take care of this thing with ease. I completely forgot to put items on Toxic or anybody else. So we're going to see if we can actually win this. Oh, you still have Gus. What am I doing? What, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. Uh, it's still a flying type, if I'm not mistaken. Flying plague type. I could be wrong. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the pot. I'm going to go ahead and hit the. I'm going to go ahead and go into puppet. <laughs> uh, we are already off to a great start. That's three flinches in a row. That is three flinches in a row. Not what I was hoping to do. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, this is not going as well as I would hope. I'll be honest with you. But you know what? Again, we're playing this as a demo. I know exactly how to get around this. I just need to heal up Toxic. Get in here with Toxic and just Sludge that we have right now. Smog. We don't even have Sludge. We have Smog, which is super effective. So we're good to go there. But this was the only true way to actually gain any experience was to keep losing to, I think it said Zambala. Might be wrong on that. But I do know that there is a med kit here so we can actually heal up here as well. I'm going to die. I can feel the poison chilling my blood and turning my brain into soup. Uh. He's 
dead. You wondered what poisoned him. You also wonder what kind of poison makes people disappear. I still love the fact that you put all the jokes in here. I really... You're not a shiny, but we have one. <laughs> um, I do like how all the jokes are still kind of the same and everything like that. That makes this more... How do I put this? Authentic. That's the best way I'm going to put it. It's authentic to the original Snakewood. And I really do like that a lot. Uh, this is a secret egg. Now, I haven't gotten... I, I've gotten through the woods to see certain things in the two grandma's house we go. So I'm hoping that we are on par now in comparison. Uh, again, I'll explain stuff a little bit later. But I also want to say thank you for the absolute... Why'd you got to kill my toxic? Go crumble to dust. Go crumble to dust. But I do want to say thank you for the absolute amazing support that you got on the very first video. That, that was absolutely astonishing. Astonishing, to say the least. It was... Wow! <laughs> so, thank you again. Thank you for liking, comment, and subscribing. You know the deal. You know the spiel. And for anybody who is donating or anybody who is indeed watching the video... I didn't even see you on the map. Okay. Okay. It's this thing. It's okay. For anybody who's donating or watching the video, for everybody who is, just for the heads up, if you do get any ads or stuff like that, everything is going to Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It, it means really, really, it, it means so much to me in this month. I am hoping that I can start streaming and stuff on this month. But with the hurricane coming up, yes, I am recording this on a Tuesday before I go to work. And we have the hurricane on Thursday. So we will see what happens. I may not even get this episode out until the hurricane already passes. We may lose power. I have no idea. But my plan is to stream and get some stuff done because everything that I get throughout this month goes straight to Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Because uh, my grandmother and I know a lot of people who have cancer in some way shape or form and i want to make sure i do my part and support so thank you guys very much for everything like that but this little thing here this little doggo over here if i'm not mistaken if i remember correctly already has bite um i think that's a little early i could be wrong but if i'm not mistaken also has thunder fang <laughs> mm. um i also i think it has I, I gotta remember what the other move that he has that like yes yes this little Poochiana has bite and thunder fang at level 10 uh that's a little excessive there is also a phoebus here which which with not not having splash has water pulse it has water pulse and icy wind this early like, that's that's a little much for this early in the game. Just a little bit. I like the competition. I like the challenge. Not competition. Challenge of it. That's, that's just a little too much. <laughs> that's just a little too much. We do got to make sure we grab these berries because these berries will come in handy for some of the battles that are coming up. Uh, otherwise... Interesting. Okay, we can't move through them after we've already collected all that. But I do think this is really cool. I did see this. A Necro Ball, which... Hold on a second. Hold on. Let's get to the sign, and it'll explain it itself. Oh, there's also another Pokemon in that grass. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hidden item. Hidden item here. Hidden item here. So make sure you guys go pick up this item as well. An item to be held by a Pokemon. It is a seed it, it, imbued with life that ups the power of grass type moves. That's going to come in handy when we actually do get to use Shroomish. Which may or may not come in the foreseeable future. But it's this trainer tip here. Zombie Pokemon have been proven to be resistant to the effect of regular Pokeballs. 
it's recommended to the use of a necro ball instead. They are rare to come by, but are a great help to any survivors. In life or death situations, one could try to catch a zombie with a regular Pokeball for success. Doing so has been seen before. So when we come up to any zombie Pokemon, we know exactly what to use to try to catch them. Now the question is, I don't know if we'll be able to buy them later. That is something that I'm hoping we can do later so we can catch some zombie Pokemon because apparently by what I've read and by what I've seen, we can catch quite a few of them, which in the original Snakewood, we couldn't. We didn't have access to 90% of them. Like these starters, the Rotmander, the uh, Oozel, and the Boivosaur, I think I got all three of those right, are available in the very first route after where we got our starters. We just can't get to them yet, which I'm looking forward to eventually getting those. Cause that would be so much fun. That would be so much fun to have. Okay, <clears throat> here is another battle. This thing here, I know what it's going to go for. I do. I know exactly what it's going to go for. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm right. Body slam. What? Body slam at level 11 from not an Azumarill, not a Mural, but this thing. Like, it, it's it's a little much. <laughs> it, if you don't understand what I'm saying, it's a little much. And has Aqua Jet. I think it's a little much. I think some of these things can be died down a little bit. We do get access to clear smog, but smog actually gives us access to um, poisoning, which is going to come in handy with some of the stuff that is kind of going to be coming up, especially the fact that we won't be able to use that Pokemon with some of the, if you remember the original Snakewood, there are trainers or zombies or Headless Corpse with Eye Eyes. Eye Eyes are a Jinx variation, Plague Pokemon, that are, if I'm not mistaken, have Ice, Psychic, Moves, but I think there's Psychic Plague? I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. But they deal some massive, massive damage extremely massive damage there is the mush mask as well if i'm not mistaken there is a side quest to actually get tumor with that being involved so i want to make sure you guys go and do that as well and there is the school here which normally you would have gotten the quick claw this time you don't it is the never ending grasp which helps with binding moves which is why we actually have one punch here. We have one punch with regenerator, might I add, which is awesome to have with bind. So my goal going forward is actually going to, where is my item? Is to give this item to one punch to be able to use bind and get some more power off of it. The normal gem, I wanna go ahead and get to Kenzie because the normal absolute ferocity and this book is still the same. I love it! We blocked the door today with Derek's corpse, but it doesn't seem to do any good. However, many times we however however many times we block it up, the demons always eat their way through again. We're running out of food and guns. These kids had guns in this school. Elsa was taken today. It's just me left. I'm going to do it with the last bullet. This school was dark. It reminds me of, what's the anime I used to watch? Assassination Classroom, I think it, what it was, with the yellow octopus, looked like an octopus to me. The yellow octopus and it just, just, just yeah. All right, so next up is 
this. These stairs... Wording. Wording. These stairs are, not and, are broken and don't seem safe to climb. Also, there are skulls scattered on them. Something might be able to fix it. So later on, we will have to come back here. But eh, there's little verbiage that needs to be finished up. But these guys. These are the guys with absolutely just stupidity when it comes to these Pokemon. I'll show you. I'll show you. Hold on. I'll show you. Because we're going to definitely need Nightshade for these. I'm going to show you. Because you know how I said I leveled up to level 11, right? 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 They are already level 11. We didn't even get a chance to grind. We didn't get a chance to do anything. But, you know, this could 100% be worse. 100% be worse. Now, already has Wing Attack. Which, the last one that we just battled had Gus at 10. So, must have learned it at level... 11 or something like that. We are level 12 with Toxic. That is our highest level we got. Does almost half to us. It's a little intense. But that's not the one I was even worried about. I'll be honest with you. That's not even the one I was worried about. Uh, Where are my healings? There you are. Oh, wait. I forgot. Puppet's dead. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that wasn't even the one that I was extraordinarily worried about because that was a dirt crow oh wait no my healing is over here it's the i i and honestly the i i is easier to take care of than the other one which is kind of stupid this one should have severed head this one has the i i at level 12 goody Goody, 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 gum, goody, goody, gum drops. Uh, we can hit knockoff because I know a lot. And it's also frostbite is in this game. I do like that instead of freeze. I do like that. Uh, we are just going to die to this I.I. Good thing is experience actually goes through death, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. We can smog here now. It did over almost, it did almost 90% to us. Oh, that's insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, Kenzie, uh, you should be able to kill with just a quick attack. Normal gem boosted. Okay, cool. Puppet's trying to learn Shadow Sneak. Yes, please. Yes, indeedy. And now we gain a lot of levels because that was a level 12, so we're on par again. Which, this is the good thing. So, Overrise? The user attacks with a punch that can shatter a rock. This also lowers the foe's defense stat. Isn't that just Rock Smash? Interesting. That's interesting. I like it, though. I like Pulverize over Rock Smash. I do. Let's go heal up again. Because healing is the only free thing in this game. <laughs> the only thing free in this game. But the one that I really wanted to show you guys was this guy. This guy is still a headless, uh, severed head. Um... But has a skin skin at level 13. At level 13. Now, the last time I faced this thing, I think I was still only like level 11 or 12. And I got bodied by this thing. This thing destroyed my entire team. This time we have Puppet here who I'm using to try to get ahead of the game a little bit with some of these psychic types since Toxic can't put in that work. I'm going to take Ice Ball. Now, I'm just going to Shadow Sneak because 
at this point in the game, we are now starting to get at least on par. The only problem is we do not have the moveset to deal with some of these Pokemon, which is my SQ. You put that me in this game! <laughs> I never got to this. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I do. Ma Mazmar was one of my favorite Pokemon uh, and how it looked in the original Snakewood that I could never get. I did. I truly loved how it was. I really did. Oh, this is awesome. I like this a lot. I like that a lot. All right, so now we are gaining levels. This is the only way to gain levels, but you know what? I'm okay with it. We're supposed to battle trainers. We're supposed to do all this stuff. So, so far, we're doing good. But now we get to go face off with Alicia. <laughs> I'm surprised you got this far. I thought the demons I left behind in the woods would have taken you down. What? You're working with them? Didn't my trainer class give it away? I'm a death caller, a servant of the Lord. Is that a new name? Been a while since I played Snakewood. I don't remember the exact story. Grave Turk? Who's that? Why should I tell you anything? But since my demons couldn't get rid of you, I guess I'll have to instead. I still got to give you props. I love this, the music. I truly do. I truly, truly love the music. Now, Sableye over here. Um, only thing that it's super weak to is fairy types. And we don't have that yet. <laughs> we don't get that luxury yet. But there is a Mon in this battle that is actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie with you. So, just for the heads up, for the future when it comes to this project, I'm going to go ahead of the game a little bit to try to get some type of plan. And I am so glad I did for this episode because this Wimpod over here is a variant. So, if I'm not mistaken, I don't, I don't know exactly what the variant is called, but this is a variant just like an Alolan or anything like that. This is super cool. The only problem is, if we do not have one punch here, we can't really do a whole bunch to it. It is considered a steel type. Has mirror shot. Has hidden power electric. And if I'm not mistaken, it did have one other thing that was a pretty big coverage. So that was an issue. But then there's this Magikarp, which everyone's like, oh, it's just a Magikarp. You thought Phoebus was just a Phoebus? No, sir. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know. I just. Time out. Is Bounce a one turn move now? That's kind of cool. I do like that. I do like that. It's something like Time Crasher, and I didn't get to read it fully. But I do like that. I actually do like that a lot. We have Bug Bite. Interesting. Do I get rid of Gust? No, because I can... Yeah, maybe I do. What's Gus L good against besides grass? Bug's gonna be good against it. So yeah, we'll, we'll grab Bug Bite. Because if I'm not mistaken, <gasps> why are you so strong? Wrong voice. And then her pride and joy, her Sneasler. Uh, we definitely don't outspeed this thing. We can bring in Toxic though. And then we can hit poison. See? Has Fridge Ray, which is essentially looks like 
Ice Beam to me. Also has Aerial Ace. <laughs> so, even if we do bring in One Punch, we have no way to get rid of the Sneasel. I do, I'm pretty sure we don't outspeed. Because it's a Sneasler! Sneasler. Sneasel! This thing is kind of busted. Kind of busted. Because the only true way to get rid of a lot of these things is to use a poison strat of some kind, which I'm perfectly fine with. That's how I normally play competitive battles. I normally play the slow, methodical type battling, which I do have a few on my channel if you want to go see those as well. Unless someone, Caleb, decides to go belly drum. What is it? What's the ability? It's not Kudchu. It's not um, Harvest. It's um, Cheek. Cheek Pouch. Cheek Pouch. Belly Drum Cheek Pouch. Dynamax. And just destroy everything. It's... It's... I've already called up a godly number of demons. I'll just go back to Bird and Turf and file my report. So, yeah. There, there's... There's that. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. Let's go heal after that battle. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this is this is as far as I've really gotten. Uh, trying to grind and do stuff and learn everything. But we do have Mr. Popeye himself. He's late. This is not acceptable. Gunning master. You are unacceptably late, Dantelion. I apologize, Master. This body is rather slow, and as a result, I believe the legs have been removed. It's rather slow, and it is a result. I believe of the legs being removed. Yes, I did say that right. Make sure you acquire another soon. I will require you to be at your best when we challenge. You mean the... Don't mention their names. Beings as powerful as they can hear the name whisper over many miles. I don't wish to bring their wrath upon us before we are ready. Yes, Master. Be silent. Although I have cloaked us with a field of invisibility, the demons of this place will hear us if we do not keep our voices down. I have found the vessel that is summoning them, however. It, it is in a cave to the north east of here. Together we will dismantle it. That needs to be read. <laughs> that line of text needs to be read so I know who's talking. Yes, master. What was that? Who were they? Something about them felt familiar. Is it possible? I've met them before. And how is it possible that I could see them when they plainly no one else could? I guess it doesn't matter. If they are going to stop these heroic demons, then they are my allies. I'd better go and help them. I might even get some answers into it. And just like the original snake would. Wait, a sign. Authorized personnel only. Phew, that was close. I almost went somewhere I wasn't meant to be. I'm not happy about that one. I still want to go in there eventually. I did get to see this, though. This gym, like this part here, looks amazing. Look at the fossils. Look at the fossils. They look amazing extraordinarily good including the relicanth here they look extraordinarily good and i want to give you props i want to give you props for that and then you even what looks like stones here the evolutionary stones so that's really cool too uh can i go in here i can this hiker is dead someone has hollowed him out with his teeth from behind so if you wanted to you could get inside him and wear him like a suit no, I'm okay. You're going to loot his corpse? 100%. The emergency button. If the holder is hit by an attack, it will switch from another Pokemon in your party. Interesting. We got the emergency button. That may come in handy. Those zombies in the pen down there. They're... What? What? They're food for us, dear. By the way, that's a lovely body you managed to get yourself. Hardly a scratch on it. 
Uh, yeah. Okay! Now, again, I am testing this game out a little bit, so... I'm gonna see if I can break the game and see if there's any parts that I can actually get through. Unfortunately, I cannot. Because <laughs> I do know that's where you go up and get, if I'm not mistaken, you get like Magikarp or something like that. You! What are you doing here? What? Don't pretend to be confused. You can't fool me, even disguised. Who the heck are you? Oh, by the way, I'm Beegers. Yo, boy, Vegas. I'm crazy, weird, unorthodox, loud, and uh, hyper! Can't it be? I do not believe this to be a lie. Very well. You can call me Gleese. It seems I have mistaken you for someone else. You must possess an uncommonly strong second sight in order to be able to see me and only know... I only know one other person who can do that. That is where my confusion arises from. I see. I overheard you earlier saying you were going to destroy the thing that was making the demons appear. And I want to help. I came here to look for my brother and his girlfriend, but the old woman asked me to drive those demons away. So, I said I would. And, well, I'm going to. So, let me help. You look strong, yes. But I am not sure you're quite up to the task. If you please, may I test you first? And this... You're the one who has face leech. I like that outfit. You're the one who has face leecher. But, because I know you are weak as sin... But very, very, you hit like a glass cannon. You are the definition of a glass cannon. You're like paper thin glass cannon. So if I can hit you first, we're good. Very well, you may have accompanied me. I shall now hear your Pokemon. My servant is waiting at the cave east. I'll go join him. When you have prepared yourself, join us and I will explain what will be done. Time saving tunnel nearing completion is what it says on the sign. But there's also a big X flashing around it in red paint. A what? Time-saving tunnel? Is that just the tunnel from place to place? I'm assuming. I Again, I'm assuming. That's... That's a cool little addition. You can go back and forth instead of going completely around. Can I get over these ledges? Poo! <laughs> Boo! I, I can skip that. I am skipping all of these zombies right now. I am skipping all of them. Is there a hidden item here? No, there's no hidden item. Uh, there it is. I knew there was something. I knew there was something here too. No, but I can see the other end of the cave, which is pretty cool. Okay. Now, this is probably one of my favorite caves because I know where I can, I can get a certain Pokemon here. Oh, are you Beegers? Yes, I- oh, that's right, that's right. It's Dantelion, servant of the one called Gleese. But we are gonna head into this cave and then get ourselves a lovely new Pokemon. Are those strength boulders? Whismer! <laughs> we get a Whismer. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. And it has rattled. Interesting. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I do know that when you catch these Pokemon, as because I've caught in a handful at this point, let's see if I can just get this real quick, because I have caught a handful at this point, that we actually get to change their ability to whatever we are looking for as well. I could be wrong, but there is only one name for the one and only Wismer, and that is Boombox himself. Uh, and because he is, he can be either or so i'm just gonna make him hardy but i do get soundproof or rattled um rattled is dark moves so i think i'm just gonna go with soundproof it's probably gonna be more beneficial to us and because we are weak to fighting types i'm going to do a you might get play rough later 
Let's do psychic. Let's let's do psychic. Let's do psychic. Look at him. 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 Ah! <laughs> we have boombox. Yes, we do. We have boombox. How about you? For anybody who doesn't know, boombox is the mascot of the channel. Normally, there's an item up here. Why is there no item? There's no item! Fine. But no, Boombox is definitely the mascot of the channel. Um, has been a part of this whole crazy ride that we have been on through five years of being on YouTube. So yeah. He's, he's my little pride and joy. <laughs> Not to mention... People have stated that with me being very loud, Loudred is like the perfect, per the perfect mon for me. Which, 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 which? I even got a 3D model of Loudred. It's so cool! He even glows in the dark. He scares the crap at me at night. <laughs> Because everything is dark and he's the only thing glowing. And it's like he's just hovering on top of my dresser. <laughs> oh, it's it's weird and funny all at the same time. Now, before we go take on Gleese, what I am going to do before we go and do that, I'm going to go take on these other zombies that are over here. And I'm going to be right back. Update. All those zombies were already taken care of by Gleese. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to take on this demon that's over here. Is it demon? Would it be considered? I don't know. Do you know how demons are summoned? Or shall I tell you? One sets a suitable vessel for the demons to flow through the pit. And one casts the appropriate spell. This girl here is the vessel. She is channeling the demons through. If I can break the spell on her, no more demons will appear. So what the heck do I do? When the demons on the pit sense their portals in the world being closed, they will flock towards it in hopes of getting through before it closes. I need you to beat them back before they get here. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Very well, take up your position. Let's begin. What do I want? I'm just going to do my regular voice. May? Oh, she's gone shopping in Slayport with her friend Elsa. You know, the cut man's daughter. Oh, I didn't know that. They took, okay. So that book that we read in the, it's been a while since I played Snakewood. <laughs> Light bulb. I'm, I'm actually going through the story a little bit more knowing that this is a demo and I want to make sure we give the best advice we can to the developers. Um, I did not know Elsa was the cut man's daughter that was in that school who got taken. Uh, I did not know that. Are you quite all right, Bigas? You appear to be swaying slightly. Yeah, I'm fine. I, I, I think. I was just a little, it was just a little flashback. I remember who this girl was. She was the cut man's daughter. I'm ready to go now. Very well. I'll begin working on breaking the spell. Watch out! I said the demon approaching. I like that sprite! I like that sprite. I like that a lot better than the original, actually. Con Props to you on that. You have water pulse and smog did nothing. Alrighty then! Uh, you are a rock and water type. Dog, get your butt out here. And mega drain this thing into oblivion. You should 100% outspeed. But you probably have icy wind. I got. I have to like think ahead of time what these things might. Grass rock. Uh... Hey! We have bug bite. It's super effective. Literally go down. Who would have thought that Butterfree would have been the strongest mon on our team? Sure, heck, I wouldn't have. I dislike you intensely. Another demon. The Anorith. Uh, we should definitely get Dog out here. And we should be good, actually. We should be good. 
You had uh, the Aqua Jet! Well, guess what? I'm going to Mega Drain you and I'm going... You're not like an Amistar. You're Bug Rock. Oops. <laughs> I made a oopy poopy scoopy. Uh... Can I bring in Joy without it? No, I'll just bring in Puppet. I'll just bring in Puppet. Puppet can do anything it needs to to this thing and hopefully take it out. Knockoff does some good damage. So Shadow Sneak will not outspeed you if you use Aqua Jet. But we out damage you. I will take that. I will gladly take that. Toxic wants to... Okay. This kind of confuses me. Um... Why is Coffin getting fire moves? I don't mind it. But why is Coffin getting fire moves? Last time I checked, it didn't get fire moves. Rock Tomb. Oh, that's right. We also picked up the TM in the um in the gym that we should be able to teach to someone as well. I do want to go and look into that because we need some pow more powerful moves to be able to deal with some of these Pokemon that have some high level shenanigans over here. That is demon number two. Hurry up, Gleese. I can't hold him off much longer. I have almost completed the required spell because give me a moment more. There, done. It could appear that she was consumed by the energy of the spell. It is just as well. If she had not absorbed it, the energy would have killed us. Alrighty, I don't want to die. Can I go all the way through here is my question. I'm assuming we can. So far, so good. Oh, because I know what's over there. Okay. That's right. This is here. What? 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 My bad. I was doing a different voice. What happened here? This town is in ruins. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> What's with this flashback? They don't usually hurt as much. And now we have more voices. Uh, I have the upper hand now. I know you couldn't stand against us. And now all that remains is to bid you farewell. Boom! Alicia's back! Why do I not remember? What was that? You! What are you doing here? You've interrupted me! I will bring you to my boss! Which is right there! You know, honestly, that could be changed up a little bit. I don't know if you could change that. You could probably change it to where your boss is in a different spot to actually bring you to said boss. Thought? Maybe? I don't know. You, I remember you. You, 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 But from where do I know you? And why can't I remember anything about you other than your name? You, what are you doing here? I thought you were dead. Destroyed along with that deadbeat town. But wait, you say you only remember my name. Yeah. At least I had some success. I may not have killed you, but the impact appears to have at least... Erased your memory. Oh, husband of the apocalypse cannot have learned to lose any ends. Have any loose ends. Said that wrong. For a. How do I put this? I will be honest. For a four horseman type sprite, probably should be changed a little. Could look a little different if this indeed was a four horseman. Just, just a thought. Just my thought. Um. Up it's low. I did not heal. Oh no. We have a water poison type here. I do not have any real answers. I do not have any real answers here. Um. I don't think you can hurt one punch. You have water pulse. Cool. Cool. You also have Poison Point! Cool! Cool. So I'm gonna try to do as much damage... 
You have Shockwave. Okay, that is an issue. That's an issue. Um, so you have Water Pulse, Shockwave, and I'm assuming you had something else that I wasn't paying attention to. So I can't bring in Joy. Um, Dog is pretty much the only thing I can do. I don't know what kind of poison move you may or may not have. You still have Shockwave. Okay, so Bug Bite should kill. Poison Point, that's right. That's right. So I just poisoned myself for no apparent reason whatsoever. Awesome! Bro Gunk. We still have our flyer. We still have a flyer, so we should be good. Uh, we just need to string shot this thing. You have Bullet Punch. So you have priority. Okay. Uh, we should be good here. You have Bullet Punch and you have Sucker Punch. Okie dokie. You have a Galarian Slowpokes in the game! Oh, that's actually really, really cool. I like that. Uh, what's Galarian Slowpoke though? Is it just play your Psychic or Psychic Poison? You have Ice Beam. Uh, you do have Ice Beam. That's, that's a thing. That's, that's a thing. Wow. And you have Bulldoze. So unless I outspeed, which you are a Slowpoke, I'm gonna die. Okay. Woo, boy. I'm not gonna fail here. Be ready for this. And there's Moldor. Which, if I am anywhere close to being right, if this is a Plague Poison type, I don't know if we can get by this. And I'm, with how everything else is going, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have Bulldoze. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have Bulldoze. No, but you have Poison Fang. You also have Thief. So far, we're okay. With Cold Touch. Does this kill? I don't know if I want to find out yet. I don't know if I want to find out yet. What is Cold Touch? What is it? Ice Punch? It didn't kill. I'm glad I did this. I outspeed. Mulder, you're done. I want you to know that health went down so slow, I was very, very scared of not killing. <laughs> I was very, very scared of not killing. No matter. We shall leave this base. What base? We are literally next to a lava pit. Speaking of, how did lava pit appear in the middle of Verdant Turf? Mount Chimney is on the other side of the region, and I assume you wouldn't carry lava in a bucket. Silence. Follow me, Alicia. We shall create a new outpost. I'm so sorry, Beakers. I didn't recognize you in that disguise. Please forgive me for attacking you those times. But times have changed. I work for the horsemen now, and I can't show you any mercy. I won't fight you this time, but next time, I'll go all out against you. What? <laughs> what is even going on? Why do all these people know me, and why can't I remember anything about them? Can I get the Cyndaquil? I want the Cyndaquil. I want the Cyndaquil. There's a, there, there's a rock there. There's a rock there. I want the Cyndaquil. I want the Cyndaquil. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No! No, I want the Cyndaquil. <laughs> Can I have the Charizard? You enjoying the heat? You think about catching it, but it has a collar around its neck. You decided it belongs to someone and leave it alone. No! <laughs> it's still the same in the original game. The Endless Plains. Interesting, I come here to visit. Why is there a blue ball there? I know what I said. I know what I said. Thank you for visiting. Please stay with the force field. But I don't want to stay in the force field. Hello, I'm Larry the Looter. Beautiful. Do you have some stuff I can get? 
Oh! 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 Is this worth it level 15? I'm gonna grab some just in case. Super potions, indeedy! Indeedy. And then I'm gonna grab some great balls because we're gonna have to go catch some Pokemon as well. The Swiss Army Knife. A very handy pocket knife from a faraway region. It can be used to cut trees. Oh! So we don't have HMs in this game! It's already a great remake. Already a great remake. The fact that we do not have to use HMs is beautiful. I love it already. Love it, love it, love it. I talked too soon. <laughs> I talked way too soon. <laughs> Looky, looky. Cuts, cuts right here. Cut is right here. <laughs> so question, can I use these TMs multiple times? That would be really nice to have if we could. We need to get rid of rollout. Because in the original, we couldn't. This one, we can. I love that. That is a great addition. Great, great addition as well. I know a lot of normal Pokemon games normally have that kind of stuff. But that is a great, a great, great, great addition. I have Pulverize. Let me beat this thing up. But apparently, we can't do that. So, now I should have some exploring to do into a few of the cut bushes and stuff like that. So, I'm going to prep for the very next episode. But thank you guys for all the love and support you are giving on this series. It is absolutely amazing. I really, really do appreciate it. And again, everything that... Everything that you watch ad wise you support or you donate or anything like that does get put to a really really good cause So I really do appreciate Anything that you guys do it is not necessary, but I do want to Not ask but I do want to let you guys know in case you guys do but without further ado Thank you guys for all the love and support. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye That was loud